Yo, what's up guys? It's Pi here, the Crypto Pi, and today we're going to be talking about the market, guys. What's going on and why is it such a bloodbath? Alright, well, just like yesterday, guys, I'm telling you guys. Alright, let's take a look at Bitcoin here. Bitcoin, USD, Bitfinex. Alright, so if we just look at the one day chart. Remember these lines from yesterday, guys? Well, we nearly hit one, you see that? Um, that is because there's a support there, right? So, <clears throat> you can see we bounced on the 618. But where do I count the start of this run? The start was really at 5.4k. Right? It was it was around there. Because um, we had a little pause there. Okay, so I just started from there. My, my Fibonacci. And uh, you can see we got to the 618. So, <clears throat> well, what can happen now so we can definitely drop further guys um i'm not saying it's done at all um we still haven't really hit it on the spot we hit it here which is the top of that line um i mean if, if i just draw a line so let's just put a line here you can see we hit like this little support area here right that's where we bounced on which is great um if it bounces like this, that's good. Um, you know, so how much has it really dropped? Everyone's like, this was the biggest drop of all time. Like, you know, of all year, whatever. Um, it has only really dropped 45%, okay? 45%. Now, people that are new to the crypto scene will probably say that, yeah. I mean, here we had a 31% drop. But, uh... This one must have been the bigger one then. No, this one's 39. So also around 40%. So guys, these drops are not... not They, they happen, okay? They happen. 30, 40% as well. See, this is normal, guys. This is corrections, okay? Remember the corrections I was talking to you guys about? Remember the, the drop from 1300 back to uh, 900? Another 33 drop. Um, over here, what was this? 36% drop okay so maybe it was like one of the biggest but then look at this one 29% drop okay so this is a very healthy correction guys 45% drop this is very healthy okay very healthy 45% drop so that is great to see and why do I say that? Well, as long as the 6 hour, what I hope we will do right now um, is something like this. I'm just gonna draw this from my freehand, okay? So, whoop, go back up here, make a bottom that's higher, and we're off to the races. Okay, so, um, watch for this double bottom occurring. Uh, when you see the first bottom is in, wait for the little the temporary top I always call it and go in on the second one okay um, that's that's how, how you should play it because if you look here well actually not on the six hours so much because for example here on the six hour it's hard to see but if we go to the one hour here yeah you see so I can already see it here you see so it went down back up then a higher bottom is in, and that means the bottom is in, all right? Um, often that's the case, at least. So it's very safe to enter here then, right? On the second bottom, because that's a confirmation right there. However, if you're just looking to buy on Fibonacci levels, then yeah, your 618 is decent. And if it drops further, your 786 is your next area, right? So you would have bought around here, and your next area is around here. Simple. Um, that's how you can buy if you if you're not in Bitcoin yet. Like I said, I'm just holding my Bitcoin position because I bought low, way lower, like four seven area and shit, and even lower. So um, I'm not worried one bit. But uh, that is because I've seen these drops. Okay, maybe um, not this much of a drop, but still, guys, come on, um, forty five percent. Ha. This is a steep correction. I see that now. But uh, we can definitely... When you have a steep correction, 
we will have a great run again. Okay, so this was a this was an immense run. I mean, let's just look at this, guys. 262 percent. All right, what was this run like? 151 percent. See, so from a 151 percent run, what was the correction like? 30 percent. But with a 200. 60% run what's we get a 45% correction so that is great to see I'm not sure if it's done yet I'm not telling you if the bottom is in or anything but watch for a double bottom occurring on the lower time frame on the one hour okay so you can see it here you know you see the W here you just see it let me just draw it for you guys so you can see this okay um, Whoop, 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 whoop. There's a W, right? So, here another one. See that? W. So, I expect here to be something like this as well. Um, if this is the bottom. If not, we might go uh, a little bit further. And then here. So, you just got to predict this for yourself, because if you don't, you're just going to panic, right? You just see a bunch of red, especially if you put it on the one day. What is this, guys? This is scary, right? Um, no, well, it's also a time to make money, guys. It's a time to make money, all right? I've been making some money, um, not much, but let's, for example, let's say you have some USDTs to play with, or Bitcoin. Well, you should have Bitcoin, you shouldn't have sold your Bitcoin. So, on the Bitcoin, look at this, guys could have bought here well why why would you have bought there right that's probably what you're asking me well let's just put a Fibonacci from the bottom to the top and it actually went through the 382 close to the 0.5 so this one was hard to buy but still you could have looked at um, a previous support here. See this previous support? This is what it's visiting again. And let's say you played this, you would have had 13% already on your Bitcoin. So let's say you go in with only like 0.2 or something and you're 13% on top of that as a profit. It's just quick day trades. Right now is the time for quick day trades. A big swing trade, you can do that as well. But only do that with coins you trust. So for me, that's Bitcoin, Ethereum, and NEO. I might buy some Litecoin, but uh, not sure yet. Uh, I'm not sure if that bottom is in yet. OMG USDT. Uh, I just played a trade on this, to be honest, guys. I bought at like 10, 10 78 or something. And uh, up 12%. It's nearly actually... Oh, it might have sold me, yeah it did sell me because I just played the bounce to the 13 EMA line alright guys, so if you don't have the EMA lines on here you can go to indicators and type in EMA uh, EMA moving average exponential alright, you add that one I can't because I already have a bunch of things on here then you will go to format go to inputs on it and change this length to 13. I have a 13 EMA and I have a 34 EMA. Alright, so that's the ones I like to use. There's a bunch of traders actually that use these. So, um, definitely not a bad, bad setup. But, um, so I already sold and that's just a quick trade. Okay, just make a quick couple hundred bucks. Um, that's how I trade these. When it's this volatile, I'm not ready for the swing just yet. Now, when it comes here for a second time and it confirms to me that it's a higher low, I will go in again and uh, be in it for the swing. The swing back up here, which would be a 72%. Um, well, or here, right? To be conservative, like about here, it's still 48%. So, then you're in for the swing. But right now, I know from market, from just playing the markets often, is that we need to have a double bottom in. 
so something like this so when you're in on the first bottom guys and you realize it's like it's at least gonna correct a little bit then sell again okay because you know from your experience that the second bottom will be in before the run up so why not take some profits and go back in that is if you're a bit experienced in trading and uh, that's what I did so I'm just telling you how my day went okay I'm telling you guys how my day went in this this bloodbath of course we're losing money if I look at my portfolio I cannot trade against that um, then okay so there is a thing you could have done in order to go against that was very risky that is when uh, if we look on Bitcoin here let's go on the six hour you saw no six hours not good enough uh, two hours yeah two hours is good so we just take a line here right and we take put that on here well you see that we get lower highs so and this is not recommended or anything but you could have played something like this so a short guys you're making money on the downside so when it hits this line again which was about here you would have opened your short put your stop when it's a higher when it's making an all-time high you could have lost the potential 12 percent 12 percent is your loss however if you held your short even to where it is right now it would have been up 27 percent on whatever you put in so um that's just something you could have done as well in order to do a short you need to either go on poloniex or on kraken or on bitmax uh that's the three i know where you can short on bitmax however it's futures but it's still good um because the price is very similar so you could have done that i didn't do it i missed out on that but that's cool I don't like to short that much I need to get better at it because like I said it's harder right because you just play with lines and like yeah this is a lower high so when it gets close to that line again you open your short okay and then uh, you have your high like higher than the highest high um, and just let it go and even right now technically you shouldn't even take your profit yet you could have taken your profit here I guess because it's close to the line but um, technically speaking you shouldn't yet because you just draw a line like this and when this breaks that's when you stop out if not you le let your short keep going and uh, yeah so you just put a stop okay you, you put a stop for a for a higher high um, which is around here um, so you would have just let it play and see what happens so that's how you could have shorted it I didn't but hey so guys the market is looking bloody but uh, it's definitely gonna turn around right so we're already at 489 billion again just to show you guys into perspective to end the video with is um, we were down here and also here guys you see 418 billion then we had this little W you see that a little W before we went back up W's are so important to recognize guys one of the most important patterns I'm definitely gonna make a video in my crypto trading basics about W's double bottoms and about M's double tops in order to recognize whether a market will go down or up it's always um, an approximate like whether it goes up or down but it's still a W is a very strong sign if the second bottom is a higher higher low that's a very strong sign if a second top is a lower high it's a very strong sign that it's going down so you know I'll leave you guys with that if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe hit that post notification button and if you got any questions at all, leave a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video.